Hello everyone, this is another video at uh, Ivas in the Kitchen, my new videos about food in Poland. So whoever does not know what is the concept, my concept is that I'm cooking Greek food with Polish ingredients or in general international supermarket alternatives. So for people that are living abroad, they can have an alternative. So today I'm going to do two dishes. I'm going to do uh, the zucchini fried and then I'm going to do tacos. So uh, basically, both of them are vegetarian. So if you're vegetarian, this is a perfect uh, combination for kind of starters for your dinners. And they can be also vegan. I will explain how you can make this twist. And both of them, uh, my new intro is that I'm going to explain also the prices. So for both dishes, I paid 17 zloty. So my focus is also to be budget friendly for students or people that they don't want to spend a lot of money. So if you can come in with me and I'm going to explain. So basically, I'm going to make quickly a tzatziki. I'm going to have another video only about the tzatziki. So we need to shred the cucumber in this, like this, in a bowl and put a little bit of salt so we can soak all of the liquids. Then what we have to do is to take off all of our liquids and leave only the cucumber. Then what we want to do is add this kind of Greek yogurt. You can find any supermarket in Poland. I live in Wroclaw for my new followers. And here you add the nice, very smooth yogurt. The point in tzatziki, in the Greek version of it, is that the, 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 the cucumber has to be very, very dried out and the yogurt has to be very creamy. So I'm giving you an example of how you have to mix it. So the yogurt in this case has to be more than the cucumber. Here we go. This is a very good consistency. So we leave this. We add a pinch of salt, a little bit of salt. I mean, there is salt inside the cucumber, so don't overdo it. A little bit of olive oil. So I'm going to put just a pinch just to make it, you know, a little bit like more nicer and smoother. A little bit of pepper, this one, a any pepper that you have, I'm just giving you the cheapest brand option. And a little bit of this garlic, because the dick is a garlicky sauce. I mean, it depends. If you want to make it uh, more, oops, that was a little bit more. Uh, so if you want to make it a little bit more authentic, you can actually shred also the garlic. And it depends how much you want to make it garlicky. You can put one of one piece of garlic or two. So this is ready our sauce. And now we need to cut down our zucchini in this kind of pieces. This kind of size. It can be this or a little bit thinner. And what we need is we need to light up a little bit our pan. Add a little bit of olive oil. It doesn't matter if it's olive oil, if you want to put any other oil. I'm just frying with olive oil right now. But I would say also any kind of other oils that you use. And then you have to put it in a, in a box, like in a bowl like this, with this kind of flour. As you can see, I'm using any kind of flour. Actually, this is for brownies. I would say anything that you have in your house. You put a little bit of salt in this mix, and then you twist it like that. So we want this consistency. We want it like this, both sides to be perfectly with our beautiful flour. I'm going to do also this one. Here, you a little bit flip it like this so we don't want extra flour in there and you leave it there. And then you take two of those so you can turn it and then you need a plate with this kind of paper because we don't want the extra oil. We don't want it to be heavy, you know. You want it to be very crispy. And the result will be like this. I'm going to serve it in a second. This is beautiful. Don't be afraid to see the brown part. It has to be crispy and brown and beautiful. As you can see, both sides, beautiful. So you can see right now how it should look in the pan. If you can come closer and you can see how the pan is frying it, you can see already getting brown. So we're gonna leave it and we're gonna make our second piece. Our second dish is called dacos. It comes from Creta, the island, and it was kind of a food that every single Greek will order in a restaurant because it's so tasty and a very good starter. So, 
what you have to do is you have to have this kind of bread, okay? This is called maximavi in Greek. I mean, it's very complicated. Maybe you don't have it. I have it from my mom. But you can take this bread from any kind of sapra or any kind of place, this club. And I like it because it's a little bit brown, a consistency. You put it in the oven and make it very crispy so that we can have a consistency like this. I mean, we want it to be tough. Why is this happening? Because we're going to take a tomato like this and then shred it with this and make it in a consistency like this one. We want, exactly as you make it when you want to make a soup or you want to make it like in a food, you do the same thing and then you pop it up on this one. So you could tell that why we want it to be very, very crispy because we want to soak them up with the juice of the tomato. Now, in this case, now I'm going to turn this back. You could see that they are getting very good. Now, in this sense, we add a little bit of salt to it. And uh, normally, I would say that uh, in Greece, then you would have to put the feta cheese and that would be the eat with, uh, of course, oregano and oil. In this Greek twisted, my alternative version, you don't use this onion because this onion is for cooking, but you use this kind of onion, the one that you use also for burgers. You put a little bit of olives. Why I do that is because this kind of feta that I'm using is not so that sharp as the other, as the Greek one. And you use a little bit of oil onion on the top. So you put everything up, put it up. Oh, sorry, some, some fell. So here you go. And then you put a little bit of your oregano, like a little bit like making a Greek salad, but more smooth in the taste because you want it to be like very nice with the tomato. You put the olive oil on the top. Don't be afraid of it. You want it to soak up all this, you know, dry bread. You want to make it very, very smooth in the taste. And then you take this kind of feta. This feta, you know, it's the cheapest version. I don't want to exaggerate on the price. So I'm buying this feta. Any kind of feta. If you want to make it more elegant, of course, you can buy a more expensive feta. Definitely. And then you put it on the very top. This feta is a little bit buttery. That's why I don't really think it's bad. It's a good imitation of feta, uh, but it's a little bit buttery, you know, for the real feta version here. And that would be our tacos. I'm going to present it here. I would say that even if you want, I know some people really love here in Poland, the uh, rucola. So you can top it up on the sides with some rucola. It has to be very colorful, you know, something very nice as this. So now we're going to, you see how crispy and amazing this is. Look at this piece. So crispy and so nice. It's really during the summer because the chukinis are a little bit more nicer during the summer. It's the best starter. I'm telling you, I have no friends that didn't like this recipe. So I'm going to wash quickly my hands and I'm going to serve it. So. with the Jiki. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.